Hi, this is Dr. Sandeep Mahapatra, Consultant Hair Transplant Surgeon at New Follicle Hair Transplant Clinic. Today I am going to discuss a very pertinent issue that is donor area harvesting and scarring in FUE, FUT, DHI or New Follicle Hair Transplant methodology which I follow. Basically, I will show you a case where a patient came to me for a hair transplant for a second revision surgery. If you see this uh, right side photograph. So once we trimmed his hairs, the donor area, we could see a lot of patchiness and scarring in this donor area. Why this happens? Because probably the surgeon or the team went very deep harvesting the grafts and would have used bigger sizes FUE punch tools for excisions more than probably 1 mm diameter and try to over harvest the grafts and try to extract each and every graft adjoining grafts. No, we should not over harvest, we should not do like this. At New Follicle Transplant Clinic, the methodology which I follow and would have operated more than 5000 hair transplant cases is we use very thin size punches. 0.7 to 0.75 mm diameter titanium tube uh, tip different kind of punches serrated punches or very thin diameter punches or beveled punches where we make sure that we have using the thinnest possible punches for scalp donor area harvesting and we cherry pick each and every graft and one out of three or four grafts is selected the healthier ones and from a follicular unit or graft which contains three or four hairs, we are extracting one or two hair follicles from that. So the same point, the other area hairs are growing back. So for this patient of mine who had operated two weeks back, his donor area healed up completely and later also, once he saves his donor area, he might not see any kind of scarring, barring small white dots here and there scattered, not patchy like a FEV donor area harvesting. So we should be always careful while we harvest the donor area. Secondly, I will show you a case where in a thin uh, uh, donor area where the plant had fine hairs or the patient had fine hairs, some clinic had harvested almost 5000 grafts in a single session and the, the result was that when he came to me for a correction cases, we could hardly see much of donor area left. So over harvesting and over harvesting other than the safe donor area won't give 100% results for hair transplant because the hairs which are taken outside the safe zone might not grow properly, might thin out later and might fall also eventually. Thirdly, in some cases of FUT also, if the surgeon has not done a proper trichophytic closer, if the if the over harvesting has been done, they have gone deep, so it resulted a lot of scarring was caused to the scalp donor area which is completely inadmissible and never advocated. So I had to treat this patient with the help of laser and other kind of treatment strategy for the scarring. Once the FEV scars comes in like this patient who had done a lot of uh, grafts was taken uh, and had caused a lot of scarring also in terms of the skin had thickened up or hypertrophy had happened and lot of punch graft scars were also there. So I had to finally do some SMP or scalp micropigmentation on the donor area just to hide the scars. Sometimes I do PRP or GFC even in the scarred donor area to lessen the scar even to regrow some of the hairs left because you always remember once the hairs are lost from the donor area, it's always lost. So we should talk to the surgeon or the team, whosoever is doing a hair transplant review, what is the experience of their donor area harvesting, what kind of pulse tools they use, what is the diameter they use, what are the instruments they are using, what experience they have and what are the feedback of the clients or patients who have done from the clinic and once they shave it off or keep it a buzz cut, whether this kind of scarring is visible. So this is a complete no. We should never do like that. 8-10 years back, I used to see this kind of cases. Now also I see some of, lot of FEV, bad, blossed up donor area over harvesting. So we should never advocate that. We should be extra cautious while uh, harvesting. So in our method of neo-follicle transplant, 
what i preferably do is if you see our donor area heals very fast without leaving behind any kind of scarring in just 10 to 12 days uh, because of the thin size punch tools which we use and because of the lesser depth of uh, uh, the incisions what we are making and because we will check the density of the donor area first and accordingly if a client has 60 to 70 grafts per centimeter square density so we will only extract 15 to 20 to 25 30 maximum grafts per centimeter square uh, from the donor area so in the entire lifetime they can extract up to 50 percent of the donor area donor area in a scalp approximately for every individual varies from 10 to 15 thousand grafts in a single session we can do one third of the donor area harvesting or extraction that means one third of 15,000 grafts means almost up to four five thousand grafts we can do even in second session we can do another two three thousand grafts probably in the second session we might require some of these beard or body grafts to give a good coverage for the entire scalp so uh, donor area is very limited we should respect the donor area we should analyze it we should do a trico analysis a trichoscopic analysis for every patient then we'll explain to the patient whether the donor area is thin thick curly what is the status of their scalp whether the patient has a scarring tendency all this needs to be discussed prior to the hair transplant proper planning and meticulous extraction can only lead to less damage or no damage to the donor area. So today I am signing off only with donor area harvesting methods. Next video I will talk to you about implantation techniques, various implantation techniques and what implantation techniques we employ at Neo Follicle Transplant Clinic. Thank you so much.